I'm going to Florida on a quick day trip. Oh, look at this. Ooh, ah. this is me climbing this tree. Uh, would that bite hurt? Hey, now we got two. Count them two. Yeah, nothing like getting bit. Wish they were native, but I guess we have to eat them raw tonight. Well, well, well. Finishing a chubby little fat man who got into the food without my permission. You get back here. Did you get into the food without my permission, sir? Give it here, give it. You're far too fat to be eating all that food, sir. This is my farm, used to be a crack house. As you can see, the trench is starting to show again. That's not good. And last night we got a tornado. That's right, you guys, we got a tornado last night. It was bad. Thankfully though, it did not hit our particular farm, but it did hit some other spots in Central Texas. Today I'm taking my morbidly obese prairie dog rescue for a walk. Poggers and Queen are very healthy and well, as you can see. Yeah, look at the baby. Kevin and Kyle are showing off their butt. And our little Muscovy duck baby name of Kid Cudi has been hanging out with his mom. They're becoming little friends. It's really cute. At some point during the storm last night, these guys broke out through this hole and now the ducks are just kind of walking around. The chickens are doing well. Their houses are very cute, but they're starting to get dirty from all the poop. As you can see, the pigs are healthy and well per usual. And they made a huge mud bath last night with all the rain we got. Kevin likes to run along the fence line here and try to attack me as I go to the back of the property. But there is now officially no more trash left on the property at all. There is no more more trash at all and because there's now no more trash back here and i'm finally done cleaning it i'm gonna go ahead and release big ounce back into the wild out here he could run around and be a little wild prairie dog and hopefully he'll lose some of this fat weight that he's got look how fat this man is i'm sick and tired of this nasty texas weather so i'm gonna go ahead and go to florida tonight quick day trip that's right i'm going to florida on a quick day trip and i'm gonna be herping with chandler from chandler's wildlife and zach from catch em all fishing and i'm doing it all tonight i'm gonna be back by the morning don't try and follow me son <laughs> Watch as this adorable son of mine returns to the wild where he belongs. Look at that little head peeking up out of the grass. But all right, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and head to Florida right now. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. I'm here with Chandler, beautiful man who I'm not holding hostage at all whatsoever. And right now we are looking for chameleons. There are a lot of invasive chameleons here. It's getting kind of cold tonight, so we're going to try and take them and keep them nice and warm in our stomachs. Just kidding. They're crawling. This is a big male. Well, looks like we found one. <laughs> Let's have a look at this beautiful boy. Okay, I'll pull up. Hop out at the after party. Where is it? Crikey, I don't even see it. Oh, there it is. Wow, the wow. What an adorable little handsome boy. Bro, how are we even going to get that? We're going to climb like spider monkeys. Really? Oh, yeah. You ready? Can I actually legally take these home? Yeah, can you not film me when I'm ping, man? <laughs> Bro, I don't know how you... Oh, here we go. Florida man be like, okay, I'll pull up, hop out at the after party. Hey, I guess we're back. Oh, uh, that's a little bright. Okay, this is, seems safe and fun. Guess I'm next, huh? I'm glad I wore water shoes. Sure hope we don't find another one. Okay, this seems safe. I'm gonna go back to the car. That chameleon was too much work, so we were gonna save it for later. Here's a little guana I'm gonna catch by myself. Have we got him? We're just gonna go ahead and... Give him a little grabberino. I like he sees to, you. He sees you. I call it the little grabberino. This is my first ever iguanga. Name of iguanga from Florida. Oh, he smells good. Smell that. Brazilian red pepper. It smells really good. It smells really good. Okay, so what should I do with this? Uh, should I put them in the fanny pack with all my 20 cane toads? All right, you guys. Legally, we have to kill these. So I'm going to go ahead and put this little guy. Put him in a little hat right there. I just put him in there like that. And then I just go ahead and put that on my head. We'll, we'll kill him at some point, maybe. Or maybe I'll forget about him. Maybe he'll just stay up there for the rest of the week. And then look at this little guy. Don't mind if I do. A little tail What's there. The tail? What's your tail? The tails don't come off, do they? Oh, they come off. Break the tail off, it'll wiggle. Beautiful. Look at the blue. Yeah, yeah, look at that, man. This is such a beautiful animal wish they were native but i guess we have to eat them raw tonight on camera all right here's the other little guy i'm gonna go ahead and put him in here as well we're gonna put you in there now we have two iguanas oh, oh no no well we still have him and he's going back on my head <laughs> all right time to go okay so we made this little apparatus here and by we i mean chandler did a little stick. tree name of stick it's really cold here in florida it's what do you think it is 55 degrees Dude, it's so cold I can't feel my fingers. Florida people be like, 65 degrees today. Might as well put on my winter coat. I'm dying. Got him. Oh, almost. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new chameleon. Daddy needs a new pet. Yeah. Wow, that is a beautiful, Bro. beautiful animal. Aren't Look they amazing when they're sleeping? Oh, I caught it. Insane. I caught it myself. Caught him myself without any help. Good job, Ben. Good job. I caught him all by myself, you guys. I caught him myself. Uh, would that bite hurt? Put your finger in its mouth. We got Wendy's, you guys. Oh, Wendy's. 
Mm. Man, 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 man. Very cool. We'll very, get the heat very, very, very on, cool. Make it nice and warm in here. We can legally just keep these guys, huh? Yeah, just not green iguanas anymore or tegus that are caught in South Florida. Those are prohibited, but the veiled chameleons you can still go out and catch. It's it's perfectly legal. Look we'll at this little man up. <laughs> Do it again. Why are we so weird? Crazy that we can just keep these little guys and have them as pets. Oh, but we can't crazy. keep the iguanas. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. And because it's nice and cold, these guys aren't really moving very much. I was actually bit by one of these that my friend owned when I was younger, and it does not feel good at all. I don't care to demonstrate the bite. Wow. Look at that beautiful little neck flapperino. How about you? Oh, look at that little dinosaur. And we can keep these too, right? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Woo! I don't know if I like their massive eyes and huge mouth, but I'm gonna put him next to our other little friend. Look how slow they are, you guys. It's so cold. You don't even know my real name, Lizard King. Hey, I found this little chameleon all by myself. This is me climbing a tree by, uh, by myself. I'm Uncle Ben. I'm Uncle Ben. That's me climbing the tree. I'm doing it by myself without any help at all. And I'm gonna catch this chameleon by myself. Poke that little boy. Poke him real good. Poke that little ball. Hey, you should be able to get down there without any light. Uh, I got this little chameleon here. Oh, look at that cyan blue coloration on the legs. That's sick. Look at this little paw just gripping on my finger. Beautiful, man. Oh, <laughs> what a beautiful little slice of creation, if I do say so myself. You know what? I'm just going to take this little branch with me. Good find, bro. Great find. Wizard fist pump. Right. Wow, there they are, you guys. This is the gang, the trio. Oh, by the way, you guys, these are all invasive and you can just keep them. And you're really not supposed to let them just kind of stay in the wild because they don't really belong in the wild. So update, it's 4.05 in the morning. Uh, this light has been red for the last 20 minutes. I fell asleep and he ran out and grabbed this little basilisk lizard. My friend paid a lot of money for it. Oh, I love him so much. Oh, oh and he's in my car now. I'm sorry. He lives here. <laughs> he lives here now. Story is cool. Ow! Oh, nothing like getting bit. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it still a red light? And is someone having a little bit of a hard time? These guys just run on the water, huh? Yeah, Jesus lizard. Seriously, you guys, they can run and walk on water. It's incredible. Based and Christ pilled lizard. Hey, found this little thing. What's up, Epic Fortnite, Imposter Moga, Sussy, uh, shut up. It's me, Ben. And today I caught what I think is a cane toad. I don't know. I'm here with, uh, with, Zach, beautiful. Look I don't at this think beautiful he's man. A cane toad. Oh, he's peeing on you. Yeah, he's, he's giving me a real good pee. He's a peep. Your hand is full of pee. <laughs> no, dude, I think this is a little cane toad. I think your <laughs> hand is full Th of pee. This is one hundred percent a cane toad. Is that what? Is yes, I told you keeping them. One or the other. Okay, this is either a native toad, in which case I cannot legally keep it, or it's a cane toad, in which case I can, and I'll name him Hypno Toad. Look at those beautiful eyes. This is a big day for me. This is way bigger than those stupid fish that I totally could easily catch if I wanted to. <laughs> okay, captured cane toads can be relocated and released, so I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What's that, Zach? You haven't caught a cane toad? <laughs> What's that? This is a hard thing to catch than all of those tarpon that you've been way more impressive than any of the dumb boring snake heads that zach keeps catching hey just gonna go ahead and put him in the fanny pack just so this is my da baby shorts i'll put you right in there little buddy hey, what's that zach i found another cane toad and you still haven't even found one another little man for my collection okay now we got two count them two invasive cane toads no nope. oh i'm sorry zach is this a trophy ready or sunfish and I promise, I promise that I hand caught that. I hand caught it. Here's a little Muscovy duck egg. We'll save that for later, even though it's very rotten. Look at those teeth. Oh, I'm sorry. What's that, Zach? Oh, you've never caught a snakehead before in your life? And you just saw me catch one? You're really jealous now? Wow, look at this. Ooh, ah. whoa. Coochie, 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 coo. Yeah, let him bite you. Let him bite you. It's for the video. It's really important. Ah. One small step for man. This is the best day of my life. Aren't you having fun, Zach? <laughs> best day of my life. <laughs> oh. All right. Now, legally, I need to eat this thing right here on the spot. That's actually the law in Florida. Uh, legally, you have to eat the fish raw. If you catch a snakehead, you have to eat it raw right there at the spot. And if you're caught not eating it raw, the game warden will come and give you a little spanking. But these animals are really interesting. Look at that little dot there on the tail. Looks like looks like a little little dot on the tail. Looks like a dot. <laughs> uh, these things can crawl on land, as you can see. So invasive because when it rains, they'll just kind of slither around. And that's why they call them snakeheads. They can go from canal to canal and they can actually go without water for quite some time. Maybe I'll even, uh, 
That's going to be a voiceover. Okay, fine. I'll do a voiceover. But yeah, guys, these are from Southeast Asia. It's the bullseye snakehead. They do not survive in temperatures below 50. So they're only in South Florida and they're very invasive. The law actually requires that we eat them on the spot or kill them on the spot. We don't eat them on the shore like barbarians. We eat them in the water where they belong. So we're going to wash them off real good and just take a... Oh, dang it. Oh, that was an accident. Oh. Here's an adorable little treat. We're not going to mess with them. Mind if I do? Oh, look at the... Oh, look at the babies. Oh, my goodness. There's five. Okay, mama, we're not going to bother you. And here's a bunch of little baby Muscovy ducklings, aka baby Darsidiuses. They're super invasive in Florida because normal nighttime temperature is their ideal brooding temperature. Hey, here's another invasive little cane toad. Look at that, you guys. What an amazing, beautiful creature. Ooh, found this adorable little, uh, I think it's a musk turtle. <laughs> See if he's got any leeches. Okay, fella, we're gonna go ahead and put you back. Goodbye. Man, that sure was a fun trip. I'm already back in Texas, and boy, have I been spending a lot on gas. Came back, and Big Ounce found his way back to the house. That's it, though, guys. Love you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And oh, oh, almost forgot to tell you. Uh